What's up ladies and gentlemen, everybody out there, this is Phil 20. What we've got here today is a bunch of battery packs. And specifically, these are mostly nickel metal hydrate. And this is, uh, when I say I got a bunch of them, I've got a bunch. I've got even more down here. But the main video about this is uh, I'm going to be starting to build a nickel metal hydride battery pack that is 48 volt equivalent to what I've got running here. Technically, I'm running about 63 volts to recharge is what I'm going to be ending up stopping at. Right now I'm at 64 volts and that allows me to charge the battery bank slightly more. But I've got an idea. I've went to my local hobby shop and I asked them for all their crap batteries. Basically what they do with the batteries is they call them in, they do an RMA if they want the batteries back, they mail it to them. If they don't, they put these type of batteries straight into a bucket of salt water. Salt water is going to discharge the batteries completely and once it's discharged they just throw them away. So what I want to do is see if I can recover any of these batteries. This battery specifically I was able to recover it. Currently we are discharging this battery at uh, 2 amps and we've gotten about a one amp hour out of it at you know eight volts or so and at this point it's capable of discharging and recharging over a period of time assuming it goes well i just got to make sure that it continues to go well now being that said this battery pack has two cells in it if i was to stack 15 cells in series, I would have an equivalent to recharge at 63 volts. That's where I came in, I said 63 volts. So if I build a 15S battery pack, this would be a 15S if I stacked in series 15 of these you know, cells. This one has two cells, but if I stacked in series 15 of these cells from 3.7 volts, it would equivalent to be you know, 55, 56 volts or something, but the full charge would be, you know, 63 volts. If I could add those to it, I can just directly increase the capacity. So I would have to find some that's very close to the amp hours, milliamp hours or amp hours, I would call it, just say amp hours, this is 5.3 amp hours, and this one will discharge 70 times its rated charge rate, which uh, this one is uh, rated charge rate is pretty good, I think. Actually, its charge rate is 1C, so it is 5.3 amps, you know, charge rate. So you would never want to charge more than 5.3 amps into it. So you would have to put some type of resistor in there as well. And have your inverter shut off at 45 volts. So in order for me to make this feasible, I have to get 15 cells and then it will shut off once it hits 45 volts and then my remainder battery pack will continue discharging down and once the charge starts going back the other direction, it will turn on and then start recharging again. As long as I get a cell saver, that won't be a problem. So, being that said, this battery pack, if I can get 15 more, you know, 13 more of these cells, that'll be great. Speaking of these cells, I got this pack for 15 bucks at the racetrack. Uh, this has four cells in it, even though it's a two point, it's a 4.7 volt battery pack. It's actually got two in series, two in parallel. So that means I got four cells here. That is 4,000 milliamps each cell. So that puts me in a position where it would probably be easier for me to find these 4,000 milliamps per pack. 
these packs are going to be cheaper, so they're going to be sold more. Hopefully, I can get a hold of a bunch more of these packs. If I can get more of them, that'd be great. I can get the ones that have one cell ballooned out, and take it out, and then put in the rest that are usable. For instance, I've got a battery pack that had uh, a terminal broke inside of it, so I, re I removed the battery cells, dis desoldered the remaining terminals, and that way I can actually use the cells themselves. Let me go ahead and show you what the cells themselves look like. So here is a single cell. This is a 3.7 volt cell. This one specifically, or these in particular, uh, I'm not exactly sure how much capacity is in each of these cells, but they don't weigh enough. And this was a 4S battery pack, and this was a 2S battery pack. And equivalent, but it's not actually two cells, it's four cells, two in parallel, two in series. So that gives you double the amp hours, that's a, you know, but if you wanted to, you could have the same amount of power, but increase voltage. So, these packs, if jarred, will break the connector. This connector right here broke off, the solder is still remaining on this one. That's where the wires used to be. This one's still together, which I could actually desolder these tabs, and I would have one remaining cell that I can actually resolder again. So I can make, if this is a 4,000 milliamp pad, I can take this and this one and make a 5S battery pad. If I make a 5S battery pack, I need three of those 5S battery packs to make a 15S total pack. So if I can make you know, a total 48 volt pack, I can add straight to my battery bank, and then bam, I've got additional battery pack, which I also have to put in a uh, cell shield to prevent the voltage from going below 45 volts on these packs. So once I hit that point, it's going to be pretty cool. We'll see how it goes from there. But this is just an experiment that I plan on working with. And these lithium battery packs don't vent gas. They're not toxic to the air when they're charging or recharging. The batteries you see behind me, they'll cause kidney failure, etc. It's bad for you if they're off gassing a lot. And if you don't discharge them and keep them lower, they'll off gas a huge amount. So I always have to have the fan running 24 hours a day because I use them a lot and my solar array is capable of completely recharging them before 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock. And if I recharge them completely, then that toxic gas is going to spew into the house, so I have to have a fan that is capable of pulling it all out. And that is a very difficult process if you off gases a lot. You're not going to be able to get rid of the toxic gas that comes out of these batteries. So I want to start moving towards the lithium side. So I'm trying to grab a hold of all these lithium batteries that are damaged and uh, see if I can take the cells that work out of them. For instance, I just I got a battery pack that works great. It's just I have to desolder these terminals, take the cell out, and then reuse the cell in a different different bank. Just make sure that it's always balanced. So, this is Phil 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics, and I'm starting to work with lithium polymer remote control car batteries. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.